Hey guys, I'm just going to pick a quick couple of locks, try and add a second video for the day. Abus 54Ti40. I picked this up in a um, key cutting shop. I seen it from afar and I thought, yeah, that's a pretty little lock. I don't mind the titanium look. It's the only lock I've got of the titanium um, finish on it. Yeah. Get him in the vice and try and smack him out. If you um, <clears throat> if you noticed, I got rid of a lot of my locks. I started to get into the point that I was picking them by memory and um, not really doing any of my lock picking skill any favors just repeating and repeating and repeating so i was very happy to see the little fight that william mansell had with the 12040n they are a nice little lock they are oh something's not right there And there it is, I hope you got to see some of that. I had to concentrate on that little bugger. He's a bit argumentative. Um, you said, I like the, the finish on this too, it'd be hard to see here. Yeah? Maybe if I put it over that side. See that, the matte black finish. I got this from Scruffy, nice little lock. Um, it's a Series 1105 American lock. Um, when you pick the American locks, they're a little bit different than the Master Lock. The Master Lock, like John McCormick said once, they feel like they've got sand in them, like there's grit. Um, it's because of the way the little serrations are in them and the tiny little pins. This isn't too far from that. What do I do with the good tension wrench there? It's not that one. That's supposed to be it. Um, when you do the American locks, they're similar. They got small little pins in them, but they don't feel as gritty. Um, they require light tension, and they require just you to literally go around and massage them, put them into a false set, and then look for the spool. Um, Generally, on some of these, most of these models, they they like to have a little chat with you. But if you just stay on light tension and just literally feel around, feel around, they usually end up giving up all the goods pretty easy. Not a hard lock. Um, thanks very much for. For that scruffy, I actually going to keep this one. I like the matte black look on this, and I haven't got one, so he's going into my, into my, um, you know, my keeper collection. Plus, being Australian, these aren't the easiest to source. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that. Thanks very much for that scruff. And before we go, we might as well show you something less quality give you a lesson on something if you ever see this brand here god this is impossible see that Sinoco 
these are the they actually should be really proud because if they're trying to produce the shittest lock that you can buy they've done it i haven't seen anything that's less um you know standards quality standards than this this is shocking there's one laminated Sinoco lock I've got over here and I stuck the tension wrench in it and I just put pressure on it like you do not talking massive amount of tension just a little bit of tension just to start the binding to stick the pin the pick in it and I actually sheared off two of the pins and they spat out the keyway at me and I just opened the lock and I was like well um, that's something different i wish i had that on camera because it was just like what the but yeah sinoco absolute crap have a look at the keyway see how big that keyway is god the lighting here is see how big that keyway is absolute shocking it's got Look at this. You can see the slop in that? It's just a big sloppy dog's breakfast in there, it is. I'll, um, street sweeping blades that I made into my own raking kit. Doesn't take much to open them because there's just so much slop in them. But yeah, Sinoco, absolute crap. Well, anyway, I pumped out three quick ones there. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And um, I'll see you around next time. Thanks very much.